Hello, welcome to Craft Beer Lady. Um, good to see you all. Today I've got an American beer. It's from Sierra Nevada and it is their Bigfoot Ale. Uh, it's barley wine. Here it is. So Bigfoot, I'm expecting high ABV. Uh, I've got it here somewhere. Maybe I haven't. Yeah, oh, it's 9.6. There we go. Let's get this baby open. So my 2013 bottle. Oh yeah. Smells good. Right, let's give this the pour then. Can you see that? Oh, lovely carbonation, lovely sound. I'll give it a good pour. Look at that really rich, beautifully clear, lovely carbonation going on in there. Kind of ruby, ruby red in tones. Lovely head. Smells beautiful. Everything you'd expect from a barley wine. Oh, excuse me. So, oh, I'm picking up. Not much now because of the glass. Oh, yes. It's kind of real dark fruity. Plenty of malt going on. I think that's malt. Oh, there's something there and I can't. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a real um Oh, I can't think of the word. Oh, how frustrating. Yeah, just bear with me. It smells nice. Gosh, silly. Anyway, I'm going to go through the taste on this. Sorry about that, guys. I can't think of the word and I've opened it now and, you know. Yeah, so here we go. Oh, wow. Lovely carbonation. Mmm. It's really, it's quite boozy ale, gotta, gotta be said. I think you expect that with a barley wine though. Um, or barley wine style, it's not a barley wine. Mm, it says style on there. Um, it's actually a lot more hoppy than I thought it would be and I'm wondering if that's what the aroma is. It's too sweet to be hoppy but there's something in it and, and it, you, can, you can definitely taste it. It's much more hoppy than I thought it would be. I'm getting that that kind of strong hop with a malt. Um, it's quite bitter at the back of your tongue, on the sides of your tongue. It's almost like Earl Grey tea. <laughs> it's that kind of organic, kind of nettly. It's almost like nettily kind of hoppy flavour. It's got a nice mouthfeel, um, but it is leaving my, my lips, just my lips, just a little bit sticky. But other than that, the actual, the, the texture in your mouth is quite nice. It's very smooth. It's nicely carbonated, which means, or which makes it feel less boozy than it actually is. real kind of dark it's got that the hoppiness has really hit me actually i'm really surprised to taste it in there it's really hoppy let's have a look at what it says so no it's 9.6 um it's the big for ale brilliant let's have a look you can see big faces there hiding in these trees so what are this guy's doing here? <laughs> Pulling his horse, so it's like, no way, I'm not going. Um, it doesn't actually say anything. But that's actually really nice. And that's, I think this is a beer to be careful with because it's, it's 9.6, but you wouldn't know that. There is a slight warming on my tongue though. But that, 
It's funny, it's, it's so much more hoppy than I thought it was. That bitterness that kind of kicks you after you don't have a sip for a little while, it really kind of grows this bitterness on the back of your tongue. And it covers right at the back of your mouth. But it's a bitterness that I associate with a, he a very hoppy beer. So yeah, I like that. That's lovely. So that's the 2013 Bigfoot Ale. And that's enough for me. See you all again soon. Thanks. Bye.